last time we did an RV video on this build, mm -hmm. we mentioned a couple more things that we wanted to do on the outside. Mainly there's a few holes that I want to patch up. Some old drill holes from other pieces that were on the trailer. And one significant chunk. There's this hole here that needs to be patched over and watched a video on it, so hopefully that's... So you're an expert now? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Hopefully. First time using fiberglass, so we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be fun. Let's play this again. Freaking geniuses. I was talking the whole time you were counting and we lost count. Yeah, we did. We watched the footage back. So it, see, it pays to, to record it. There's our sixth one. Mm -hmm. In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family and for this week's adventure. So my plan is to get into that bed area, sand it down, and whitewash it. I have spent like probably two minutes sanding this part. Does it look sanded at all? Uh, the flooring seems impervious to sanding. Does it feel roughed up at all? No. Smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't even know like what kind of plastics that they use for that is <laughs> It's ridiculous. impressive. They could make armor out of it. I'm convinced. It's amazing. Maybe I need to get like 80 grit out. This is 120. Yeah. 80 grit, baby. What's good? Okay. We'll try it out. Okay, maybe I should try it in that far corner. Tell me what you think. Ah, it's definitely... It's... It's got... I think they got rid of the gloss. I looked it up and I was like, can you even paint this stuff? They're like, yes, but sand lightly. <laughs> so I was like, well, okay. It's now time to give this a clean so I can see where I've been. <laughs> done. I'm gonna level with you. It felt like sanding Teflon with a fluffy sponge. My next project is this step here. One of the uh, features of the trailer is this step. Like it's a, up to knee height so maybe uh, close to two feet. It's an endeavor to step up it so my parents asked me to install a little one. My parents wanted me to put like a little step in here just to make it a little bit easier to get up into the mattress area. To make the half step a whole step better. Mm-hmm. Exactly. All right. After measuring that little area there, I came up with uh, this little box design. I know it's not proportional, but... No, no, no. It. To make the whole step a half step better. Yes. Sorry. I just <laughs> rethought about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, fortunately, there's enough space in that little opening for it to just fit right in. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see, I got the shift the box. I was trying to do something a little different than, rather than just doing butt joints and such. I'm going to add in the other two sides, and then I'm going to try to flatten this as much as I can before I put on the pieces of wood that will cover it. We have really been enjoying renovating these RVs, both ours that we did mm -hmm. last year, I guess it is now. And, and this one is, is no different. It's a lot of fun. This space can go from looking like no one would want to live there to just the nicest thing with just a little paint mm -hmm. and a little elbow grease. It's also very forgiving. These roll off the lot, not perfect. You know, there's little rolls in the- Wallpaper. Yeah, wallpaper and weird screws. And you know, <laughs> so it doesn't take much to make it better. They're just fun. Oh, that looks like it was meant to be there, Jared. Now I'm gonna put more of this on top and then I'll figure out trim. Well, I think issues. this is one small step, but this is a one giant leap to the bed. Yep. <laughs> up a bunch of this laminate flooring and fortunately like we had enough of it laying around the weather and it got from being out in the sun actually helped out the paint job with it I feel like that would just say no to any types of weather <laughs> it's incredible stuff yeah uh, but fortunately having that extra allowed me to inlay it into the box and make it just look like it was supposed to be there Then I'll just get some pallets to act like these beetles for there, and then we'll be good. All right, sweetness. The article that I read, title white wash that I'm doing is the water mixed with paint method. You see me using my eyes instead of moving, it's because I have a very big kink in my neck. <laughs> I slept great, but apparently my body still feels like I should be in that sleeping position. Anyway, so now that Jared has that beautiful step in there, which looks like it always has been there, it is now time to get this thing whitewashed. I wanted something that I could seal back down. Uh, we have a lot of different types of paint, but this, this seemed to be the thing I could seal back down. It feels so wrong to do that. <laughs> what? You don't put water in your paint to make it last longer? What's wrong with you anyway? <laughs> Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay, now, according to the internet, this will stick. We'll see, huh? It actually seems to be sticking pretty good. That's good. You know, when it comes to creating artwork type stuff there's this fine line between i look like i did it on purpose and it was completely an accident oops it's not done and i feel like we're at that second one yeah i mean it's a cool look but it's just not quite what we're going for so we need some solutions okay so this did not quite go as well as we had hoped and luckily we know the palette that your parents yeah. want, which is like a super light gray. Mm -hmm, for the walls, and then a darker gray for the cabinets. Yes. Uh, Carolyn and Tim want a light gray on their walls, so they would, they'd like to, this to be light gray as well. So Jared is gonna go ahead and paint this and this. We went to the store, we got some, then we put that on there. Yeah. <laughs>
the way it turned from this darker area into a nice, I feel it's like a clean look up there with the light grays and the dark grays, with the dark gray trim, just worked out really well. I love it. I can't say I, I was able to picture very well what the gray was gonna look like, because I don't often use gray when, mm -hmm. when doing all this stuff, but oh my gosh, it looks so classy. Mm -hmm. Your mom is really super good with picking out palettes. Yeah. It's very farmhousey, classy, mm -hmm. I just love it. And way better than I whitewash, which we're not calling whitewash, we're calling primer. We call it primer. <laughs> Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us this week on Saturday, which is July 2nd, 2022. If you're watching this in the super, super future, <laughs> uh, we have a 22% off sale on everything in our shop. So if you've been eyeballing a product, you're like, mm, I'm coming for you. Now might be the time, or at least on Saturday. We hope that you have a really fantastic 4th of July weekend with your family, celebrating and having fun. And if you're not from the U.S., have fun anyway. Have fun anyway. July 4th is just a great day in general. I guess we won't be doing a podcast on Monday because that, that's July 4th. There will be the regular Friday weekly peak and then we'll go back to the regular scheduled programming. Thank you so much and we look forward to hanging out with you on Friday for another weekly peak episode. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It's pretty frothy. It'll be okay. Would you like a drink of milk? Nice frothy milk. <laughs> awesome but dangerous. Ah, uh, wait. What? No. Yeah. Do you want to just a hand screwdriver? Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't want to strip these, man. Power tools were awesome, but also might have been a little over the top for this task. Yes. It, it just it looked like it was going to strip it. No way. <laughs> our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.